Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is a follow-up to the review and the range test I did of the RadioMaster R168 receiver. Now there were a few comments in the comment section below that video and people um, complaining about it. Now there was an official complaint that got through to RadioMaster. I did contact them, they did reply to me about this. Uh, I'm not going to go into that on this video, into the reply, but they did confirm there was a complaint. So what I wanted to do is follow up the test because I'm sure that this receiver does work over a kilometre. So what I did is I connected a servo to the receiver and then set it up exactly the same way as I did when I did the first test. And then I got a friend, Steve, to help me. So I went to a, a section of the road here where I can have line of sight and I can walk up to, and it ended up, I went to 1.3 kilometres. So I did the test and I got to a kilometre and it was connecting. There was no glitching on the servo. It wasn't, it was, it was moving smoothly when Steve moved the sticks on the radio. And then I moved to 1.3 kilometres because it says over a kilometre. So I thought I would stop at that point. I could have gone a bit further, uh, but I decided not to because uh, in the manual they state that it goes over a kilometre. But when I got to the 1.3 kilometer uh, distance, it was working fine. And you'll see from the video that you're going to watch in just a second when I was out in the field testing it. And it worked fine. There was no glitching. The only way I could get that receiver to fail safe because I set the fail safe up to go full to my left. And you can see I put a big marker on the servo so I could see what's happened. So if there was micro uh, movements of the server, I would see them. And it never it never fell safe at all. The only way I could get it to do it was I covered up the antennas on the receiver and then it fell safe. And as soon as I let go again, it came back. Now, I didn't show that in the video because I couldn't hold the camera and do that at the same time. So you were just sorry, you'll just have to take my word for that. But anyway, let's have a look at the video and you can see me doing the test. OK, I'm at a, a kilometre away from my vehicle. My friend's in the car. Now, this is slightly um, downhill. Uh, slightly well maybe not I'm going to show you the vehicles over there and I'm, I'm at a thousand kilometers and I'm not getting any glitching at all so that's a kilometer and it appears to be working so I'm just going to phone my friend and ask him to wiggle the stick so we can check hi Steve Steve can you do me count to 10 and then wiggle the sticks I'm just filming wiggle the sticks 10 times backwards and forward would you please then do it, please. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. OK, so my friend's going to start actuating the channel one and we'll take a look and see if every. Yeah, there is no glitching there. OK, you can see I'm at a kilometre. The vehicle's over there with my friend in. You won't be able to see it on the video, I don't think. But that is working fine. I'm now going to just keep going on and see if I can get a foul safe. I've set the foul safe up to put the servo completely to my left so that we can see if it's foul safe. So it's definitely connected and there's no glitching of the, of the um, servo. Okay, there we go. Steve, can you just do the same again? Because I'm not going to go any further. I'm 1.3 kilometres. So I can hear it saying RSSI low. Um, okay. Yeah, that's when it's sort of... But it's, it doesn't say it's lost telemetry, does it? No. No, cool, that's good. So count the get again. I'll go off the call, Steve. Count to 10. Wiggle the stick. Sorry? I'll count to 10. Count to 10 again. Wiggle the sticks 10 times and then drive up and get me, would you? Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Bye. Okay, I'm at 1.3. I'm at 1.3 kilometres, and my friend is just going to test again if we are connected. There we go. There is no glitching of the servo. Okay, I've only got it connected to one servo, and I'm at 1.3 kilometres. Now, it is a fairly good line of sight, but it would say that it is working over a kilometre. So I wanted to do this test because of the amount of you know, the questions people were saying and someone had made a complaint about these receivers. So I can only give you the results of the one that I've got. But uh, there we go. It is definitely working at 1.3 kilometres. 
I just wanted to add to this video that I live in a rural area, so the Wi-Fi signals, the 2.4 gigahertz signals that are floating around it will be far less than you would in um, an urban area. But there is a high powered uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter on the property that I live on, uh, which is used to transmit um, Wi-Fi signals from town and then from the bigger city of Bloemfontein. So there are Wi-Fi signals here, but there wouldn't be as many as you would have in a rural area. So I just wanted to mention that. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a Patreon of my YouTube channel. This will help me out a lot so that I can hopefully do more of this type of testing of, of, of the equipment that we use for our RC planes and quadcopters. Bye for now. Bye.